All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Give you another video. Hey, if this first time here, once again, definitely subscribe. Um, let's get right into the title of this video, y'all. Hey, stop! Stop brake checking me. Why the f you brake check? Let me tell y'all what happened, or what led up to this. Because oh, the only thing you guys probably seen on my page is just her coming out the car going crazy, which is basically what happened. But let me just give y'all a quick little backstory on why it is she might be upset, I guess. So, I was on my way home. I had my lady in the car with me. And uh, it's only one bridge to get to where I live. You know what I'm saying? We was coming from somewhere. The other bridge that they usually take, I think it's, I think it's two other bridges in a tunnel. Anyway, whatever. Everywhere else is like closed down, they're doing construction, whatever, it was a Saturday. And uh, this one bridge that was available, it was backed up, so I'm bumping the bumping traffic. I'm talking like two, three blocks before you could even merge on the highway, it was just backed up. But it was a Saturday night, me, me, me and wife being in the car, we just chilling. And uh, we, we, we just talking for the most part. And we didn't even realize how much time went by, you know, like we just sitting there just talking, just gossiping, just, and just slowly just trying to get home. So, it gets to a certain point in the road where we're behind this car in the left lane, and they're basic. And the person in front of me is basically driving slow as hell. So yeah, I mean, I get it. It's traffic. All right, whatever. But the problem is the right hand lane. Everybody's going like 45. The speed limit on this on this road is 55. Everybody's going at least 45. I'm stuck behind this one particular person. And we're doing like 20, 25. And I got somebody stuck behind me as well. And you can't merge over to the right-hand lane and go in front of them because they they just moving. So I'm just like, yo, what the hell? What the hell's going on? And I don't know <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with this person, y'all. All I can do is laugh about it now. But I guess she starts to get upset because people behind me are honking. I'm honking like, yo, like, what are you, what are you doing? So what she do? She starts like stomping on her brakes. I'm talking like not no easy brake. No, she is like, like pumping the brakes on her car. Oh my God, man. I am, bruh. I'm starting to get pissed, y'all. Like I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm upset. I can't merge and get over. On top of that too, about to go into a tunnel. So, um, what happens is once we get into the tunnel and I see how crazy she's driving, like, yo, when I tell y'all she is just stepping on her brake hard as hell, I'm stepping on my brake, and now I'm getting scared because y'all see what I drive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, this is precious to me. So, um, I mean, some materialistic things, something happens. I got I got insurance. It is what it is. But my brakes, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, my brakes are, like, top line, Brembo brakes, like, if I'm stepping on my brakes so hard, like I hope their brakes behind me, I hope their brakes is good too, because everybody's literally backed up, like right behind each other. And you can't merge because everybody is flying down this way and you're going so slow. It was one point where, oh yeah, yeah, bet. It was one point where, I'm sorry, yeah, my storytelling skills is, is terrible. It was one point where I had the opportunity to like move over into the right lane because I seen a small little open. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me get over because. This is the only opportunity that I have. You know what I'm saying? Just let me just get the let me just get the hell over. Right when I'm about to get over, she steps on her brakes so hard, bro. Oh my god! Like she just steps on her like <laughs> like I'm really thinking like she pulled her emergency brake like damn near like dead stop in the road, yo. So I almost hit her. So I, I forget about switching over and I just oh shoot I just you know hit the brake. So now I'm pissed. We're about to go into a tunnel. You can't switch. Damn, I thought I heard something. All right. Anyway, so now we're about to go into a tunnel. You're not supposed to switch lanes in the tunnel or whatever. So when we get in the tunnel, I'm like, at this point, I'm fed. I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me pull out my phone and start recording. Because in case something happens, I might need some sort of video proof, y'all. And it's a good thing that I did. Because y'all seen what the hell happened from the rest of it. As soon as I pulled out my phone and started recording, I guess she seen it. And I guess she got livid. Oh, he wants to record? I, I, I don't know. Let <laughs> me wrong with people, man. So she hops out her car. She steps. That's when she steps on the brakes again. She And she hops out her car in the tunnel. 
Oh my God, bro. So when she's walking over to me, yo, first off, let's let's just call. I, I don't I don't know this person's name, but just 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 for the benefits of this video to keep you guys on track to know who I'm talking about, let's let's, let's just call her Karen. You know, just you know. So Karen hops out of her car, and she comes over to me. Karen doesn't know what I got in my car, who's in my car. She doesn't know who she's approaching. But, you know, Karen, she could do that. She could do that. So then she comes over, and y'all yeah, see that in the video. Great checking me three, four times. Look at this. Hey, stop, stop brake checking me. Why the f are you brake checking me? Don't be f ignorant. Don't be f ignorant. Get in your, get in your f car. Get in your f car. Stop being. We are. But you're being f***ing retarded you though. You need to get off my ass, You need to fucking stop being f***ing retarded. Get off my All right. Ass, get the, get the f*** back in your car. Get off my ass. All right, so we can go. Continue to go. Go home. Don't you want to go home? Relax. Like, get the f*** out of here. Babe. Hey, go to the gym. Go. Hey, go to the gym and get a f***ing ass, bitch. You ho? Babe, relax. So now she comes over and she does all that. Now, once she gets back into her car, mind you, the right lane was always flowing, right? First off, how is it that you hop out your car in traffic in a tunnel at that? You know how dangerous that is, yeah? God forbid something happens in the tunnel. Like, God, God forbid the worst of the worst thing happens, y'all, in that tunnel, man. You stop traffic for no apparent reason. There's other cars behind me. Putting everybody, not just putting my life at risk, putting everybody else's life at risk. What, to get out of my car to tell me to, to back off? I can't back off you. There's people behind me, there's people behind you. What are you talking about? And on top of that too, I wasn't even that far, um, I wasn't even that close to you to begin with. So now once she does all that and she gets back into the car, at this point it's like, Yo, you know what? I, I gotta get away from her, y'all. So I switched over lanes and it was like two or three other cars behind me. We all switched over and then we all started driving and then we all like traffic. Like basically she was the one causing traffic at this point. Was there traffic at first? Yes. But after that, all the traffic was on her. We switch over, get out the tunnel. Now, now we in regular traffic. I, I didn't see it after that. Like I got two or three cars behind me once again. And now we're just doing 45 mile power cruising. And I'm, 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 I'm just super pissed. I'm like, yo, what is wrong? Like, <laughs> yo, for you to have the balls to stop your car in a tunnel to approach a driver, yo, that, that's, that's some duck shit, man. That's, that's. I don't know. I'm gonna end up getting a I don't care. Stop. Look, look for real. Look, look how slow she's driving. Look how slow she's driving. Go in the next lane. Of Going down to the to uh, the comments and the uh, all the messages I've gotten. Now, one thing I want y'all to know is you gotta you gotta try to control the narrative, man. When you're in those situations, yo. Like I know, I know it's crazy. Somebody hops out at you in a tunnel. You don't know what's in their hand. I, I get it. So somebody commented on. Uh, hold on, let me pull out my phone. Let me see what they said. So somebody in, in inbox me. Somebody hit me up on Instagram. They're like, yo. If it was me, you don't know what's in her hand, I would have definitely let loose on her. Always carry a strap with you. So, I don't know how the gun laws are in Virginia, but from what I understand, from what I, from what I can understand is that Virginia is not a standing ground state. So, I don't know how you would fight that in court. Because that's what's, that's what's going on through my mind, too. Like, all this, all the way this is going on, I'm like, yo, how am I going to fight this in court if I had to go to court? Was going Like, my mind is, like, going, like, 110. Like, I'm already thinking, like, all right, bet. If I really got to get out of my car and do something. Yeah, so, I uh, shoot, shoot, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all some crazy motherfuckers. I, I don't know how you would fight that in court if you're going to um, go ahead and, I guess, let her have it. But that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, next person was like, I would have got out my car and made sure she made it back to her car in a timely manner. <laughs> now, listen, 
what you guys gotta understand is it, it, we, we live in a country where certain things you just you just honestly you just can't do yeah it's it's tough because the newspaper article right and just to say if I would have gotten out of my car I'm six one I weigh about 250. she didn't look like she was more than five eight five seven the newspaper article would have said something along the lines of big black gorilla muff excuse my language a big black gorilla, silverback gorilla, terrorizes poor woman inside a tunnel. And I'm not trying to, I don't, I don't got the time or the money for lawyers to deal with that type of scenario, y'all. Especially if I didn't record it, like if I didn't have like my lady in the car with me recording and stuff like that, like I, I don't know how I, how I would afford this one, y'all. So yeah, controlling the narrative. Y'all really want to make sure y'all control the narrative, man. A lot of people also like gave me praises, like, yo, you did a good job um, controlling yourself. So I'm not really the type of person that, you know, it takes a lot to get that kind of hang out of me. Uh, and, he, and yeah, I mean, it, it, we exchange words or whatever. But at the same time too, like I hate just getting out of like, you know, getting out of character. I hate that I let somebody like that, you know, bring out that side of me, you know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> My, my advice to anybody that goes to a situation like this, man, try to, <laughs> try to try to see if you can get out of the situation first, man. See if you can move, maneuver, and get around. Because all, all the stuff that y'all saying on social media, man, y'all crazy as hell. I hope none of y'all go through any situation like this, y'all. This shit was, it was definitely uncalled for. But if you do have to go through a situation like this, before you pull out your gun and go crazy, definitely make sure you know the laws in the state that you're in. Because that, that's one thing. I... I'm in Virginia, and I don't think Virginia's a standing ground state. Meaning that if I would have pulled out my gun and shot her, or would have protected myself and my family, which I feel like is reasonable to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta protect the family. But I feel like if you would have went to court, they definitely would have been like, oh, she ain't possess no threat. Like, they're gonna find ways to worry the shit and make you go to jail for a long time, and trust me. I've, I've been in jail before. It's so yeah, hey, y'all, definitely, y'all want to stick around and talk about it too much. I think I'm looking at the camera right now. It's about 13 minutes. I, I was trying to spend about six minutes on this video. I'm at 13 minutes. I'm, I'm going to edit it so it's going to be less than 13 minutes. But definitely, y'all, if y'all ever get into a situation like this, see if you could get out the situation first, man, if possible. Um, those of y'all that said that I carried myself well, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, too, I'm, I'm, upset, with my, I'm upset because I let myself get to that point where I'm just like, y'all, I'm just like really like fed up, y'all. Um, if you a lawyer or if you spoke to a lawyer about this scenario, hey, let me know what you guys would have done differently, what I could have done differently, and let me know what the laws, what like what would have happened if I would have got out of my car too and escorted her back to her car. God forbid we both started fighting in the middle of the damn tunnel. Like what would have happened? Huh? I already know what the newspaper article was, was is, is, is gonna say. So y'all gotta tell me what the newspaper article is gonna say. Just let me know like what would have happened. What would you do? What would you do? What I could have done differently. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, yeah.